Hi, I'm Matt Grippo, SVP of Core Software for Workday. I've been at Workday for 13 years, and during that time, I've led design, mobile, and our AI team. In my current role, I manage our core technologies, which include the platform that powers our Workday applications, as well as the tools that power our developer ecosystem, including Integrate and Extend. Today, I'm going to share what I've learned about what it takes to develop AI applications fueled by ML models and how that differs from traditional software development. We'll also explore different approaches that could be taken other than building models purely from scratch. I started my career in traditional software development, first as an engineer and later as a product and engineering leader. As I transitioned into working on AI, it became clear to me that AI development was different. Now let me explain. In traditional software, you're building a machine that works in a particular way. It's fairly deterministic. You design the behavior you want, and you build the application to meet that design. Now, of course, there are always unexpected moments and adjustments along the way, but the machine generally will do what you set out for it to do. A great example here is an app that allows employees to register for various corporate programs. This app likely collects and stores registration details and facilitates review and approval of registrations by managers or administrators. Now with AI, it's a bit different. You're not designing just a machine. It's a learning machine, something that learns from its environment and reacts accordingly. While these types of machines can provide huge value to your business, the development of them also comes with more risk, uncertainty, and variability. For example, what if the previously mentioned registration app was proactive in suggesting programs for employees? Perhaps it trains off of historical employee data to help find the right programs for the right employees. The result would likely be much higher utilization of these programs in a more engaged employee population. In other words, a much more successful app. The closest analogy I've found to AI development is what happens in the development of pharmaceuticals. In pharma, scientists start with compounds. They sometimes spend years experimenting with these compounds to find a set that has therapeutic benefits. From there, they go through trials, uncovering possible side effects and studying efficacy. In the end, what was hundreds of compounds have been narrowed down to one compound that works. Was the effort worth it? Of course. That one compound has a huge effect on health outcomes as a newly released medicine. Now let's come back to AI. Just as pharmaceutical researchers start with a vast library of chemical compounds, AI starts with raw data. After an experimentation and discovery process, certain data will develop real value or predictive power, otherwise known as finding the signal. And during that process, you have to monitor for AI side effects, like inappropriate use of data or biased unethical results. In the end, you could have a huge hit on your hands or a failure. The point here is that AI development is generally less of a straight line. It requires more experimentation, and your outcome may not be as certain as you would expect. At Workday, we've been on the path of AI development for over 10 years, and we've developed deep capabilities around not only identifying valuable compounds, but finding signal in the data that can drive valuable AI applications, and then bringing them into our applications in a deliberate and ethical way. A great example of this is our work on Skills Cloud. From the early days of us scanning large corpuses of text to developing a mature process for refining and retraining the Skills Cloud to be more effective. In the end, we're utilizing the Skills Cloud to drive powerful application features. And we've learned a lot in the process. One of these key learnings is that being effective at building AI applications means building the capabilities to run the AI development process well. Before you begin AI development, Firstly, ensure you have a relevant and clean data set for your AI development. For this, you need to develop strong data pipelines that feed into a secure data environment. Next, 
build robust compliance and controls to govern data use in experimentation and development in your data environment. For example, your data environment should have a strong audit capability and procedural controls around data access and data expiration. Now lastly, and of course, assemble a team capable of identifying valuable signals amidst the noise in your data. This means either training your engineers to do data science or doing some hiring. Now, once you've gotten started, make sure you have the patience to allow the team to sort through the noise and get to the signal. One example from my history at Workday is the work we did on anomaly detection in financial close. We spent months keying off of different data values and trying different algorithmic techniques until we found true signal. We knew we had the true signal when we started seeing effective results with true data sets from our early adopter customers. Now, once you've found the signal, you're ready to build an application. Before you begin application development, first, ensure you've got a strong UX and research team that can create a compelling and effective experience for the end user. And second, have your design and engineering teams focus on inclusivity of human judgment and the mitigation of bias in the user experience flow. For example, if an app is giving recommendations, think about how the end user might review a list of those recommendations and make an informed selection based on their judgment before hitting go. Congratulations, you've now launched your application. Now that you're in production, there's some things you need to do. Build consistent instrumentation that can constantly monitor for changes in inference behavior as the app continues to learn. And make sure the team is in a position to react to these changes, positive or negative, so they can keep the app vibrant and effective. The ability to do all of this will make you an AI powerhouse and assure you continue to be successful as time moves on. And remember, Making the decision to dive into AI development shouldn't be taken lightly. Make your bets on capabilities that are highly differentiated and valuable for your enterprise. Build something that is truly secret sauce and gives you an amazing competitive or operational advantage and maximize the likelihood that your investment will pay off. So up until now, We've been talking about pure zero to one ML development, but there are scenarios where building from scratch isn't the best path. Maybe you don't have the resources to build a full-fledged ML shop. Maybe you're seeking functionality that's quite common in the market, or maybe you wanna find ways to move faster with less risk and variability. So let's talk about other options. The first option is to buy instead of build. And take the time to evaluate your vendors and look for off-the-shelf capabilities wherever possible. Make sure to ask the hard questions of your vendors to assure they have built AI with the processes we've talked about before. A few areas to consider asking. Business value alignment. How will their AI offerings address your specific business needs? Engineering and technology competency. How do the models scale and adapt as needed? How does the company handle data pre-processing, training, and interact with product teams to get ideas to production. Trust and responsibility. What are the company's responsible AI principles and how do they put them into practice? How do they consider risks and methods of mitigation? Do their standards match yours? Experience and maturity. AI requires iterative development processes. This requires time and experience. Consider asking about the company's experience with development and iteration. The second option is one that has emerged in the last few years. It's a hybrid approach where you work with existing trusted AI tech that can be extended in ways that serve your needs without having to build everything from scratch. Let's dig in here with more detail. The hybrid approach, extending existing AI technology with additional development. It's becoming more and more common. Large language models, often referred to as LLMs, really brought this approach to the forefront. 
Development teams can take existing generalized LLMs and build specialized behavior and applications on top of them. For example, at Workday, we've used this LLM extension approach for a number of features. One example is Workday Extends Developer Copilot. It uses a generalized LLM at its base, but we've added upper structures that train and focus on understanding the extend coding language. That's just one way that LLMs are great at using the hybrid approach. But what I'm really excited to share is how our customers and partners can use the Workday platform as their foundation for hybrid AI application development. Let me give you an example. Utilizing Extend Pro, a customer built an app that matches the criteria for various leadership programs with employees by using their resumes and work history. Now, this development team used both the Workday AI Gateway APIs and Partner APIs available natively through Extend Pro to accomplish this without needing to do custom model development. Earlier in my talk, I discussed how you might develop models that give you recommendations for employee programs as part of an employee registration app. The Extend Pro app allows our customer to do just that while skipping the model development. With Workday's machine learning APIs, customers have the unique opportunity to leverage the same machine learning models that power our own internal systems. In other words, Customers benefit from the same predictive analytics and data-driven insights that we use here at Workday to enhance our own applications. Being an AI-empowered organization no longer requires building everything from zero. With extensibility techniques like leveraging LLMs or the power of the Workday platform, you can move way faster than ever before with less risk and more certainty. So, to recap what we've learned today, AI development is a complex and nuanced process that's different from traditional software development in many ways and requires balancing experimentation, ethics, and continual tuning. Before diving in, be sure to assess whether building AI in-house, leveraging existing solutions, or using a hybrid approach is best for your organization. And remember, AI can be integrated in various ways to drive innovation and success. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the complexities and possibilities of AI development. I hope you've gained valuable insights that will guide your path forward.